In this video today, we're going to be showing you the, how to use a Roblox account manager to have multiple Roblox at once. Because if you didn't know, you can't really have more than one Roblox account without it closing. But I found a program that allows you to do that. So just a quick proof here, look at what my screen is right now. I am currently AFKing with six different accounts for one of my videos. And yeah, I'll show you exactly how I do it. But first of all, I just wanted to say, look at how much power is using one Roblox account so you don't overstress your computer by doing this. So what you want to do is go on to this and go on to task manager here, open this. And now you can actively see uh, right now I'm actually editing the video. So that's why I kept cut using that much, but you can actively see the percentage of your computer being used by one Roblox account by only one Roblox account. Now you wanna make sure that this does not exceed more than actually 80% of your memory. So if you have one account that uses 40%, you can have two accounts. If it uses 30%, you can maximum have three accounts. If it uses less than 20%, you can actually have four accounts. Now my computer is an absolute beast at doing this that's why i can have over six accounts but if you don't have a beast of a computer i would not recommend going over 90 percent because it might overstress your computer and you don't want to do that so let's get back to how i do this so first of all you want to go on the link i sent on to the description of the actual roblox account manager now once you're there you don't want to click on anything but the download button right here and trust me guys I downloaded this a bunch of times and it's not a virus. It's my second time downloading it and I had it for at least two months now and I haven't had any problems with it. So just click on the download button right here and a download here should pop up as a dangerous download blocked. Now that is 100% normal, okay? Oh yeah, you want to go on your three dots of your Chrome or browser you're using. Then you want to go into downloads and then once you're here, you want to go on the three dots here, say download dangerous file. And now trust me, guys, this file is not a virus. You won't get a virus from this. It might say it's a virus. That's because it's an unusual, an unusual program that uses some weird stuff to actually make the Roblox account actually work. So you actually need it. So when you go download dangerous file, you want to download this dangerous file right here. And there we go. As you can see, it just downloaded in its zip file. Now, once you have the zip file, you want to click on it top right here, open this, and then try to double click on that program. Say extract all. Now, once you're there, you want to go on browse. I recommend putting on a desktop here or whatever file you wanted to. I personally put it on my desktop, select folder, say extract, and there we go. So now if I go onto my desktop, I should have it right here, right in the middle of the screen. Now double click on it and now you have the actual program and you can double click on that. Now it says my monitor is larger than average just because I have a big monitor and if I want to keep the settings, I say yes. And there we go. Now this is an update. Um, yes, I would recommend doing updates. I would do it right now because I recommend doing updates. There we go. Oops, I kind of opened it twice, I think. Okay, now what you want to do now that you have it open actually right here as you can see it's open at the top here right there once it's open you want to click on to password locked i would recommend this a lot that makes that nobody on your computer can open it and try to do what you're doing so i would recommend this a lot so password lock you put a random password you need to remember it though if you want to be able to open it again so So for me, this is the password I did. Don't need to show it to you guys. I did continue. Now it's asking me to redo my password. I redo my password. I say continue. And there we go. Now you're going to be faced with this screen right here. Now you're almost done, guys. You're almost done. What you want to do next is you want to go onto your... On the wheel here. 
you want to go on multi roblox i don't know if you guys can see this well but the option multi roblox needs to be on okay like that just like that and then anything else could just stay like that okay now there's a bunch of things as you can do with roblox account manager you can add some roblox you can just launch them all at the same time but i wouldn't really work with that what i actually do is now that it's actually running i just go on to my roblox i go on the game i want to afk on i usually go on my private server now i have one account that is currently logging in the game as you can see once it's done loading, it usually doesn't take that long. But there we go. One account is finally in the game. Now I can put it right there. I can go on to my three dots and switch accounts because you need multiple accounts to do this. You go on your second account, which is your alt account. You go into this, servers again. I use a private server. Again, you don't need to, you can use any servers. I usually like to do private servers because every single of my accounts can fit inside one server. Let's join with this account right here. And as you can see, now I currently have two Roblox account open at the same time. And if I go on to see my alt account, it is right there. It's not edited in. It's right here and it works. Now, I'm going to just show you so you don't think it's like two different versions. I'm going to show you with all my accounts. If I go here, I have three other accounts on this um, browser here. So I can go on to this. Servers join. And again, my other account is right in the server with all of the other accounts. As, I can, as you can see, I can go next to this guy. I, and now I can switch accounts again, go on to my other account. Go on here, servers, wait for my private server again. Sometimes it doesn't load first try, so I need to reload the page every time. And now that pretty shows for it to how this works. As you can see, as I have multiple accounts on, I can move all the accounts one by one if I want to. And there we go. And now once you have that, what I recommend is something called Tiny Task. Well, if I go on to here and I show you guys it, tinytask.x. What this allows you is to record a certain movement with your mouse so it plays it back afterwards and doesn't kick all your accounts. So what you want to do once I'll show you exactly where to download it, I'll put the link in the description again. So follow me again on to it's really easy, just type tiny task in your search bar and say download it's here. And now you have the first link here is usually the good one if it's not sponsored by anything usually a good version now one of my friends make the mistake to download with macro or standard what you want to do is really click i'll zoom in for you guys on version here you want to click on the download the version of tiny task that might seem different that it's different than what i have right here because it's kind of blue or something i don't know why I think it's just because it's an older version of windows so what you want to do is download this 1.77 version here it might be sooner for you guys depending on when you're watching the video so go on to download this version and open the file and there you go. you already have it downloaded and ready to go now i have two versions i'll just close one now if i open all my roblox again go on to here i'm just gonna go put these a little bit bigger now you go back to where you were i liked it like that there you go Okay, now if you go on your tiny task here and you go on the preference thinking thing here um, you want to go on a continuous playback so that means that when you're going to record and play it's just going to continue playing it and not just stop after one time afterwards what i like to do is always on top that means that if i click on the thing on the back it's not going to go behind it it's going to stay in front of your actual application so it's way easier to see if it's recording or not I put for preferences F8 for recording in recording hotkey. See, so that means that if you press F8, it's gonna start recording. And in playback hotkey, I usually put Control Shift Alt P. Now, once you press your recording key, which is for me F8, 
or you can also click on the recording button. But once you click on the recording key, which is for me F8, which I literally put here. And you're going to see this start putting red right here. And then what you want to do with this is you want to click on every single one of your accounts here by moving your mouse and not doing a right click because if you do it, it might screw up your AFK and just a left click should be perfectly fine. So then once you're done with this, just press on your recording key again and there we go, it stopped recording. So now once I play my playback key, which is for me control shift alt P, so I control shift alt P. It's going to start recording as you can see my mouse is moving around at the top left of my screen. It's going to start doing exactly what I did on all of the accounts. going to click on them, make sure they're not getting kicked out of the server. So this is what I used to actually AFK a lot. Yeah, and as you can see, once it's done one loop, it's just going to restart the loop and do it again. So you can stop it at any time by pressing your playback hotkey just to stop it and you can play it again by just again your playback hotkey and if you don't know what's a recording hotkey what you can also do is just click on the recording button here do your thing again like that super fast and then click on the recording again and then you can just control shift alt p it again and it'll just start doing what you just did really fast there we go just did it again because i had continuous playback on so yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to use a multiple account at once. And if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. And I'll see you all next time. Peace out everyone.